Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Today is day 18 of coffee. Not that many days left to go. This one's King Coffee, early bird. So I hope you're watching this nice and early. Again, I'm drinking out of my jelly bean mug. Oh, right. Today we're looking at gradients. It's really quick, easy, simple, just kind of like a few people have asked me about how to find gradients, where gradients are in Canva, and I thought it was just easy just to create a little quick video. Sorry again, Rudolph. I keep knocking Rudolph here. So let's dive into Canva and take a look at gradients. When you come in, I've just created an Instagram template or blank canvas, if you like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to elements and we're going to come over to graphics and this is where you find gradients in Canva. So under the graphics element you'll then see if you scroll down here you've got this gradient option and this is where you can find different gradients. You've got right at the top here you've got this fade to transparent gradient. Now the way this works is you can't stretch it other than by the corner. You can't stretch it you can't elongate it because it doesn't work that way so if you want it to cover the whole of your kind of like design you have to stretch that graphic over the whole of your design and then you can just come in and you can change the color to a color that you want it to be or let's say the back of your image was a darker color and you wanted the overlay to be a white so that's how you can kind of like add a tra fade to transparent background so if for example I've got on here a photograph I'm gonna just set this to the background you can see here this fade to transparent I can kind of like make it almost look like there's kind of like a, a light leak a kind of like slight exposure kind of like on that side or what you might want to do is you might want to kind of have this where you or adding text down the side and I've done a whole video on fade to transparency and how you use that element and I'll put a link up here to that one for you okay but that's how you can do the fade to transparent and you also again similar to when I was doing my elements tutorial yesterday again links up here and all down below and everything but if you want to find out more about looking for elements I'll put a link down there for that but you do get magic recommendations here as well so you can look for your magic recommendations and this is a kind of like a more of an angled one fade to transparent angled one so that's really neat to kind of like have a look and play about with that one i've not noticed that one before but let's go back to elements and we're back in the gradients now there's all sorts of different shapes here and you might think like well these aren't the shapes that i want and you'll notice some of them are moving or animated and you can't filter on this option here unfortunately but what you can do is when you choose one of the static ones let's say i'm just going to detach the image in the background here and then change my background uh, let's leave it as a dark background so just change the element we've got a gradient element here and we want that and we can just come up here and we can change the colors to two colors that i want to add in there because they look really nice gradiented not anyway that's how you can come in and change the gradients let's have a look you could, you've also got if I come over to gradients you do have squares as well so you can come in and you can just fill the square and then you can just change the two colors this is just this is the gradient of Canva at the moment you might have noticed that they changed their logo earlier this year but this is the gradient of canva and this is two of the elements here but that's how you can kind of like play about with gradients in canva and there's all sorts of different kind of like blobs or animated blobs that you can kind of like add to your designs obviously if it's animated you can't change the color of those i wish you could that would be really good again there's another fade to transparent one that i've not noticed therefore fade to transparent triangles and all sorts Ooh. see even when I'm clicking about doing these tutorials even though I do try and plan them in advance I do sometimes see new elements and these are all kind of like fade to transparency or oh 
yeah so that's good so that's kind of like a moon kind of shape and you'll see it yeah just click about have a look see if there's anything you want there if you can't find what you want let me know tag me in the comments down below come join my facebook group ask me in there follow me on instagram all the links are down below until next time thank you very much bye for now <laughs>